So I have just seen Fly Me To The Moon at AMC's Unseen Screening. So let's talk about this movie. So Fly Me To The Moon is the newest comedy movie starring Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson that is coming out on the 12th this month. Now, I was lucky enough to see it at the advanced screening AMC Unseen. We were hoping it was going to be that, and it was, so that was great. This is a movie I've been excited for since I saw the trailers. I just This just looked like the vibe that I was looking for in this type of movie. Now, it is a comedy movie, and I tell you what, it does not miss a beat. This movie to me was just so much fun. I was laughing, enjoying myself. There's a bit of heart in this film. And it just worked on so many levels for me. So, firstly, the performances. Scarlett Johansson. I mean, we know how good she is. If you guys think Scarlett Johansson is not a great actress and a very good actress, go watch Marriage Story. You just need to watch that movie to see how talented this woman is. We know she's played Black Widow and stuff like that, but go watch her other stuff. She is fantastic. And in this movie, she is brilliant. She plays this character that has a very dark past, that has her own problems that she's trying to deal with, that she's trying to keep buried, while also putting on this brave face. And it adds into the comedy element, because when you find out about the stuff that she does, it's sad what she went through in that, and you see what she does. But it adds to that element of the comedy because of the different characters that she's able to play. And this shows you a bit of range when it comes to Scarlett Johansson and how good her accents can be, how she can just turn it on like that. Absolutely fantastic. And then you've got Channing Tatum, who I don't think is a bad actor. He just has been in bad movies with bad roles. This movie, he was great in it. And the character of Cole himself... I really enjoyed that character. You know, they tied his character into the Hop- Apollo 1 mission and how that weighs on him. There's this really, really good scene where he's talking and he's been asked questions about it. Chan and Tatum's performance in that is really, really good. And I just really liked the Cole character and just the way that the chemistry was between Chan and Tatum and Scarlett Johansson and the characters themselves, how they were... The opposites. There's a whole thing about truth and lies, that the theme that runs through this movie about truth and lies, and they are the yin and yang of that, of truth and lies. And the way that they come together, I thought was very clever and done brilliantly. Now, there are some other characters who had just a hoot of a time. The director. I'm pretty sure it's the guy from Community, the Dean. I'm, I'm, I am 99.9%. I'm pretty sure it's him. He was hilarious. Every time he was on screen, I was cracking up laughing. Just the comedic timing, the line delivery, just nailed it. And I'm sitting there, and he just comes on screen and just says the funniest thing that is just a normal line, but it's the performance that he gives, the elegance of it, the the timing, the delivery that just makes you laugh. And everyone else in the theater was laughing as well. Him and Woody Harrelson in the same room, going back and forth with Woody Harrison playing like this, this character that we know that he can play was just hilarious. And their back and forth was great. Woody Harrison's great in here as well. He plays like this very mystery government man, you know, that's always listening. So that was great. And then you have Ray from Everybody Loves Raymond. Dude, he he's just so good to watch. I just love it. As soon as he, I heard his voice, I was like, I know exactly who that is. His character has a little arc as well and something that he's been going through that ties into Cole's character that I really liked as well. And that dynamic between him and Cole was fantastic. Now, as for the story itself, it's about the moon landing, 1969. It's all about that. Did they fake it? Did they not? This movie will fuel, and I mean fuel, the conspiracy theories about the moon landing all over again. This has just opened the can of worms for it. Did they fake it or did they not? That is the question. And so that's what this movie is about. It's about them going in there, but the government having a contingency plan just in case things don't come out as planned. Now, I thought that story was great. And then obviously the characters play their role in that. So I really like the story that they were trying to tell Using the moon landing as that, and some of the shots, man. Whoo! The cinematography, man, was pretty good. Not gonna lie, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at these rockets, and I'm like, holy, 
that looks really, really interesting. That looks really, really cool. And then there's, you know, they mix it with some of the old footage and the old camera styles as well to give you that feel of the 1969 era, which I really appreciated as well. And I love that about it. I thought they captured what the 1969 era would have been what that year would have been like obviously i wasn't live then so i have no idea this could just be waffle and i could be like completely wrong and some pe some people in the comments could be like that's not what it looked like back then that's not what it was like and if it wasn't i stand corrected but to me it felt like that now there's this cat in this movie a a, a black cat and <laughs> I'm glad they actually did something with the cat because the cat appears very early on and it's very much like the MacGuffin's gun where it's like you see it and it's going to pay off later on and it's throughout the whole entire movie but it get, does get paid off in the end as well which is what I like because man this cat was hilarious I was I don't know why it was hilarious it just was it's that's what this movie does to you it it takes the most simple things and just makes them funny and I'm sitting there like, I, I don't know why I'm laughing at it, but it's hilarious. So I thought that all worked. The dialogue to me was was decent as well. I think this is going to be a huge hit. I do. I feel like this is a movie that a lot of people are going to go out. And if you're looking to just have some fun with a movie, this is the movie. Because it's, it's not dark or deep or anything like that, like where it's like, oh, I need to go take a shower after that because that was heavy. It's not that. This is just... A good feel comedy. And obviously it's got the romantic stuff in it as well. With Channing Tatum's character Cole. And Scarlett Johansson's character. Obviously there is a love story that is brewing to them. That comes to the conclusion. Like it does have those predictable notes that we're used to. You know those things. Those themes that we are used to. When it comes to comedic rom-coms and stuff like that. But it's not over the top. So I think Apple TV have actually. Apple have actually landed here with this one. And I feel like, like I said, a lot of people are going to enjoy it. I really do. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. I was laughing. And look, that's all you can ask for when it comes to a comedy movie. Like the primary thing you want from a comedy movie is to laugh. Like that's what I go into it. I don't care. I, like story and characters come second to me in a comedy. I Like the first thing a comedy needs to do is you need to make me laugh. Because if you're making me laugh, I'm having a good time. Whether it's stupid comedy bad comedy or not if you're making me laugh you're doing your job right and there's plenty of comedies that have terrible stories and terrible characters that i love because they make me laugh like no tomorrow this movie made me laugh so check there and it had decent characters check and it had a decent story as well check while it's not like this riveting oscar winning story or anything like that this was still a very good movie that I really had a lot of fun with. So if you guys have seen it, let me know your thoughts down below. Smash that like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.